Programming and Calibration Introduction When you enter the programming mode, you have access to all of the functions in user and service engineer modes. Programming With the machine off, hold down the on-off key for about 5 seconds until the display shows the first programming function, Language Select. The keys to be used in the programming stages are Enter to enter menus and or confirm settings, the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the menu, and increase decrease settings, and the reset button to return to the previous step. The keys are also numbered from 1 to 10 as shown in the picture. User mode functions. Once in programming mode, press enter and the display will read language select. The only user mode function. It's sufficient to press the up arrow to set the machine and the operator interface language that will appear on the display. The available languages are English, Italian, French, German and Spanish. Service engineer mode functions. To access the programmable functions in Service Engineer mode from the Language Select mode, press the up arrow key and then the display will show the message Password. Enter the standard password, four times the grinder left key. Counters. With the machine off, press and hold down the on-off key for about five seconds until the display shows the first programming function, Language Select. Press the up arrow key, enter the standard password, four times the grinder left key, and the display will read counters. Press enter to open the submenu. Beverage counter. Press enter to open the submenu. All of the beverage keys, one to ten, will flash. Press the beverage key to read the number of beverages poured. Press and hold down the enter key for 6 seconds to reset the counter. Press the reset key to quit the selected beverage counter and then press reset again for 3 seconds to quit the submenu. Counters are updated every time a beverage is poured, even if terminated manually by the operator before the time limit envisaged for the programmed dose. The increase is 1 for single beverages and 2 for double ones. Press the up arrow key to continue. Total beverages. Press enter to open the submenu. All of the beverage keys, 1 to 10, will flash. Press the beverage key to read the number of beverages poured. Press and hold down the Enter key for 6 seconds to reset the counter. Press the Reset key to quit the submenu. The counter counts both grinders, and the increase is 1 for single beverages and 2 for double ones. Press the Up arrow key to continue. Cycle counter. Press Enter to open the submenu. All of the beverage keys, 1 to 10, will flash. Press the beverage key to read the number of beverages poured. The cycles refer to single beverages. Press the two times key to see the number of cycles for double beverages. Press and hold down the enter key for six seconds to reset the counter. Press the reset key to quit the selected beverage counter. And then press reset again for three seconds to quit the submenu. Press the up arrow key to continue. Total cycles. Press enter to open the submenu. The display will read total cycles. The number of cycles is the sum of all beverages, single and double. Press and hold down the enter key for 10 seconds to read the absolute total, which cannot be reset. Press and hold down the Enter key for 6 seconds to reset the partial total cycles counter.
press the reset key to quit the submenu. The keys will go back to fixed. Press the up arrow key to continue. Write grinder total. Press enter to open the submenu. Press and hold down the enter key for 10 seconds to read the absolute total, which cannot be reset. Press and hold down the Enter key for 8 seconds from the Absolute Total menu to reset the right grinder total counter. Press the Reset key to quit the submenu. Press the Up arrow key to continue. Left grinder total. Press Enter to open the submenu. Press and hold down the Enter key for 10 seconds to read the Absolute Total, which cannot be reset. Press and hold down the Enter key for 6 seconds from the Absolute Total menu to reset the left grinder total counter. Press the Reset key to quit the submenu. Press the Up arrow key to continue. Hot Water Total. Press Enter to open the submenu. Press and hold down the Enter key for 10 seconds to read the Absolute Total, which cannot be reset. Press and hold down the Enter key for 6 seconds from the Absolute Total menu to reset the Hot Water Total counter. Press the Reset key to quit the submenu. Press the Up arrow key to continue. Steam Total. Press Enter to open the submenu and read the pouring time number. Press and hold down the Enter key for 10 seconds to read the Absolute Total, which cannot be reset. Press and hold down the Enter key for 6 seconds from the Absolute Total menu to reset the Steam Tot counter. Press the Reset key to quit the submenu. Press the Up arrow key to continue. Total Liters. Press Enter to open the submenu. Press and hold down the Enter key for 10 seconds to read the Absolute Total, which cannot be reset. Press and hold down the Enter key for 6 seconds from the Absolute Total menu to reset the total liters. Press the Reset key to quit the submenu. Press the Up arrow key to continue. Total Wash Cycles Press Enter to open the submenu. The display will read Total Washes. Press and hold down the Enter key for 10 seconds to read the Absolute Total, which cannot be reset. Press and hold down the Enter key for 6 seconds from the Absolute Total menu to reset the Total Washes counter. Press the Reset key to quit the submenu. Press the Reset key again to quit the submenus. Save Data To quit the menu, push the Up arrow key until it reaches the menu Save Data. Press Enter key to confirm. Dose Programming With the machine off, press and hold down the on-off key for about 5 seconds until the display shows the first programming function, Language Select. Press the up arrow key, enter the standard password, 4 times the grinder left key, and press the up arrow key until the display reads, Dose Programming. This function serves to program each key with the preferred beverage. Press the Enter key to enter the submenu and select the key to be programmed using the up and down arrow keys. The keys are numbered from 1 to 10. Press Enter again to enter the function programming mode for the individual key. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the required beverage. With off, the key is disabled. Coffee selects the coffee cycle, with milk coffee being the milk cycle plus coffee cycle, and coffee milk the coffee cycle plus milk, with latte the milk and coffee cycles together, with macchiato the milk cycle plus pause, three seconds, plus coffee, with milk, 
the milk cycle with tea. The cycle hot water from the tea wand with steam man, the cycle timer steam, and with auto steam, the cycle steam set by temperature. Press enter to confirm the required beverage. The list of programmable functions for the coffee beverage involves grinding time. It's possible to set the grinding time in seconds and therefore the amount of ground coffee used. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase reduce grinding time. Press enter to confirm the setting. Default grinder selection. It's possible to set a default grinder left SX or right DX. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to select the right or left grinder. Press enter to confirm the setting. Water volume. It's possible to set the volume of the water for each coffee in CCs. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase decrease the volume of water. Press enter to confirm the setting. Pre-infusion time. It's possible to set the pre-infusion time in seconds. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase decrease the pre-infusion time. Press enter to confirm the setting. Tamping. Tamping can be enabled or disabled. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to select yes or no to enable or disable pressing. Press enter to confirm the setting. Add water. It's possible to set the quantity of hot water added to the coffee product. The list of programmable functions for the milk coffee beverage includes Milk time. It's possible to set the time and therefore the amount of milk. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase decrease the time and therefore the amount of milk. Press enter to confirm the setting. Airtime disabled. It's possible to set the part of the total milk time in which the air solenoid valve remains shut so as to regulate the amount of foam in the milk. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase decrease the milk time during which the solenoid is closed. Press enter to confirm the setting. Milk pipe auto wash. It's possible to set the cold water wash time at the end of milk pouring operations. Press enter to open the submenu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase decrease washing time. Press enter to confirm the setting. The following settings are the same as the coffee cycle. Double dose programming. Use to program the double dose. After entering the menu for the required key. Press the required key and it will be possible to program the very same list of functions for the double dose. Hot water. Select the desired button and press enter. Press up arrow key in the cycle menu and select the T cycle. Press enter key to open the menu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase decrease the time and therefore the amount of hot water. Press enter to confirm the setting. Steam man. Select the desired button and press enter. Press up arrow key in the cycle menu and select the steam man cycle. Press enter key to open the menu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase decrease the time and therefore the amount of steam. Press enter to confirm the setting. 
auto steam. Select the desired button and press enter. Press up arrow key in the cycle menu and select the auto steam cycle. Press enter key to open the menu. Use the up down arrow keys to increase, decrease the temperature that has to reach the beverage that you want to heat up. Press enter to confirm the setting. Press up arrows until save data to quit the menu. Press enter to save the data. Settings. With the machine off, press and hold down the on off key for about 5 seconds until the display shows the first programming function, language select. Press the up arrow key, enter the standard password, 4 times the grinder left key, and press the up arrow key until the display reads settings. Temperature unit selection. It's possible to program the unit of measurement for viewing the temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys can then be used to select the preferred unit of measurement, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Press the up arrow key to proceed to the next item. Coffee boiler tank temperature. It's possible to program the temperature of the water in the coffee boiler tank. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to increase or decrease the temperature of the water in the coffee boiler tank. Minimum 80 degrees Celsius, maximum 100 degrees Celsius. The recommended setting is 94 degrees. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Press the up arrow key to proceed to the next item. Steam boiler tank temperature. It's possible to program the steam temperature inside the service boiler tank. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to increase or decrease the temperature of the steam in the service's boiler tank. Minimum 80 degrees Celsius, maximum 140 degrees Celsius. The recommended setting is 130 degrees. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Press the up arrow key to proceed to the next item. Pouring group temperature. It's possible to program the temperature of the pouring group. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up down arrow keys serve to increase, decrease the temperature of the pouring group. Minimum 80 degrees Celsius, maximum 105 degrees Celsius in 1 degree steps. The recommended setting is 94 degrees. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Press the up arrow key to proceed to the next item. Grounds draw. It's possible to program the number of cycles after which it's necessary to empty out the grounds draw. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to select the option Withdraw or with direct grounds discharge. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys are used to increase or decrease the number of cycles. Minimum 1, maximum 40 for the option Withdraw. Recommended setting 30. Minimum 50, maximum no limit for the option with direct discharge. Press Enter to confirm the setting. To reset the cycle count for emptying the ground drawer, pull the drawer out for at least 15 seconds. Press the up arrow key to proceed to the next item. Washing cycle. It's possible to program a complete or just a group washing cycle. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to select the complete washing cycle. Recommended for machines with cappuccino maker or group washing cycle recommended for machines without cappuccino maker but with auto steam. 
press Enter to confirm the setting. Each time that the washing cycle is enabled, it will follow the parameters set in this function. Washing alarm times. It's possible to program four times for enabling the washing alarm. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to select the time to be set. For example, time 1. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to select the hour and minutes at which the washing alarm needs to appear. Press Enter and the up-down arrow keys to set the hour and minutes. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Press Reset to enable other washing times. The display will read Washing at the set time or times. This message will disappear once washing has been completed. If the times 1, 2, 3, 4 functions are set to hour 00 and minutes 00, the alarm is deactivated. Washing alarm cycles. Press Enter to open the submenu. This programs the number of cycles after which the warning to clean the group will be displayed. The up-down arrow keys serve to increase or decrease the number of cycles before the group cleaning message is displayed. Minimum 50, maximum no limit. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Milk washing alarm. Press Enter to open the submenu. This programs the number of hours from the last milk beverage being poured, after which the message to clean the cappuccino maker is displayed. The up-down arrow keys serve to increase or decrease the number of hours before the message to clean the cappuccino maker is displayed. Minimum no limit, maximum 12 hours. Press Enter to confirm the setting. Sequential heating. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to enable or disable the sequential heating function, yes, no. With the sequential heating function enabled, yes, the control unit will first heat the coffee heating element and then the services element. Power absorption is 2,800 watt. With the sequential heating function disabled, no, the control unit will heat the two boilers at the same time. Power absorption will be 5,600 watt. Programming automatic switch on off. This programs the automatic on-off for the machine. The default setting is that every day of the week the machine is set to standby and therefore to switch the machine on or off it's necessary to use the on-off button. Press Enter to open the submenu and the display will show the message Monday. The up-down arrow keys serve to view the settings for each day of the week. Press Enter to set the required day of the week. The up-down arrow keys serve to select the hour and minutes for switching off. Press Enter to confirm the setting. The arrow keys can then be used to set all the other days of the week. Press the reset key to quit the submenu. Energy saving. It's possible to enable, disable the energy saving function. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up down arrow keys serve to select yes or no to enable or disable energy saving mode. If enabled, yes, the machine will be switched off manually or automatically when the temperature of the boiler tank drops below 80 degrees Celsius for the coffee boiler tank and 100 degrees Celsius for the steam tank. Press Enter to confirm the setting 
Then press Reset to quit the submenu. Group Rinse. It's possible to program the standby time after which the machine will carry out a group rinse cycle using just water to keep the coffee circuit clean and also hot. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up down arrow keys serve to select off 5, 10, 20, 40. Press Enter to confirm the setting and then press Reset to quit the submenu. Date, Time. This programs the date and time, hour and minutes, shown on the machine display. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up down arrow keys serve to select the required date. Press Enter to confirm. Use the up down arrow keys to select the hour and minute. Press Reset to quit the submenu. Steam option. It's possible to set the steam option desired. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up down arrow keys serve to select the steam engine. Disable. Steam, man, timer steam, auto steam. Press Enter to confirm. T option. It's possible to set the T option desired. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up down arrow keys serve to select the T option. Disable or enable. Press Enter to confirm. Self-service. It's possible to enable or disable the self-service option. Press Enter to open the submenu. The up-down arrow keys serve to select the